and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube as well for some Jeskai Aurelia Fires. This looks like a spicy donation deck that we're going to be playing here, playing it over in best of one. Um, but first, I guess I should mention that today I just started a brand new Patreon page that you can check out. Um, I'm going to be having some written content over there, sideboard guides and everything like that. There's not different levels. It's just $3 a month and you can try it out right now for free to start with and you just get charged at the first of next month. So check out Patreon if you are uh, enjoying the content, the videos that I'm putting out every day to help show your support if you're over there over on YouTube. But let's get to our deck here. So this is a, a best of one deck that we're we're kind of got a lot of everything. You know, kind of got, or I guess a little bit of everything is a better way to say that. We got a little bit of everything here in this deck. We, we got some aggressive elements with, you know, Fervent Champion, Swift Blade Vindicator, even, you know, Tithe Taker. You know, it's like we're starting off being aggressive. Um, and then to, to back up the aggressive creatures, we got the Royal Scions with a second plus ability to give our creatures plus two plus zero first strike trample and then of course aurelia which is a big part of this deck um you know again pumping up those small creatures especially swift blade vindicator um, and then also having the mentor ability as well so we got some good aggro um, elements to our deck but then if that doesn't work it looks like we got some um we got some control elements as well you know, if we got, you know, if we're behind, we got some deafening clarions, be able to wipe the board. Also, the um, the clarion, if we're ahead, we can also just use the lifelink part and gain live to make sure that we win races and everything. Um, and then, of course, uh, besides that, you know, you got your other control parts like, you know, Teferi and Lava Coil, you know, those kind of cards as well. But that's not enough. We got Fires of Invention in here. So that's right, with Fires of Invention, we got Fae of Wishes, and we have um, a cyborg filled with different one-ofs here, you know, powerful one-ofs that we can go grab to be able to play also. Um, so yeah, this deck has a little bit of everything. So if you, you know, if you like aggro, if you like control, if you just like Jeskai cards, this is the deck for you. So we're gonna try this, you know, so this is the donation deck here. We're gonna be playing in some best of one, see how it goes. So let's play an event. We always do the events with our donation decks, but this one's going to be a standard event because it's best of one. All right, so here we go. So 500 gold, and we play until we either win seven or lose three, whichever happens first. Hopefully pick up some wins. Not anymore, Eddie. Nope, not anymore. Oh, I know who you're thinking of. Yeah, no, that's a different person. Okay, yeah, never mind. I know, I know who you're thinking of. That's, yep. Different person there. Alright, so we got double Swift Blade Vindicator. Um, I'm going to keep that because it's a blue land. We don't have any other blue lands. Mountain. Usually red decks have shocks for Vindicators. Hopefully not. Vindicator, if you don't know this card too well, is, you know has double strike, vigilance, and trample. So like with the double strike, you know they can't attack in with Scourge Spitter. And then the vigilance here allows us to attack though. And Fae of Wishes is a good draw. Be able to team up with our Fires of Invention. All right, uh, sending a message real quick about the YouTube thumbnails. One second. Okay, so Chandra Spitfire. Hmm. I don't have. No, Alayla. You no, know, Alayla's today. Waffle. Yeah, like that's that's part of the, today's Tuesday. I don't have anything to do about that Spitfire right now.
I don't really have... I was looking at the sideboard. I don't really have anything to grab that costs four mana as a removal spell, unfortunately. I'm going to actually just play the Chandra first. Ah, that was a fifth land. So I have five mana, I have time wipe. So we're going to need a land, and that's why I wanted to play the Chandra here, because then we have two looks at a land for next turn. Instead of just drawing the card and hoping that's a fifth land, we'll have like we'll be able to draw a card, and we'll also be able to take up Chandra to see if that's a land as well. So yeah, I just kind of separated these. So we had the two donation decks, and then we got two Tuesday Bruise Day decks. So three, four, four times three is 12, 13. Yes, it's always it's always correct to plus the, the Chandra, even if you can't do anything with the card. Yes, it's always, yes. You get you get the extra loyalty on Chandra. You can treat it like you're you're exiling the bottom card of your library because you know it's all random like which card is which. Um, so you you should not be worried about that top card. Let's light it up. Well, I'm glad they didn't. You know, just attack out and do tons of damage to me. So we're still pretty alive now. No, because one of one of these Chandras was summoning six, so they couldn't just swing out and kill me. They they could have dealt thirteen damage though. Nobody tells me what to do. Let us plan for the trials ahead. All right, Clarion's really nice. Life Link. Oh right, I, I didn't count. I didn't count the 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 damages the cavalcade actually did. I was just counting the. Yeah, so yeah, they could have dealt more damage than what I said. Right, right. Fear is a tool. Use it. Snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. All right, let's go Chandra ult. Okay, picked up a win. Let's update this win counter over here. Want to know? And there we go.
Hey, Black Keys. Um, a budget Orzov deck. Budget Orzov deck. Let me see what I... Let me see what I got here for you. Uh, keep. I think we're, we're not going to be playing the champion first. We're probably going to be waiting, you know, trying to go turn three Clarion. So Knight's definitely getting a counter. I don't know how budget this is. The thing is, is like this site, or sorry, this, sorry, this set, this set is a really bad set for budget. Um, hey, Void Deck, thank you so much. Uh, maybe something like, you know, this was, this was an Orzhov value deck that we played a little while ago. Alright, this should clear out the battlefield there. Um, you know, you can, you can change, you know, you, you can change some cards there to, you know, like, whatever you need to for budget restrictions. Also, you know, take a look at, like, the end of the video. I always talk about, like, some changes I would make kind of thing. Uh, besides that, something similar. Uh, you know, it's not quite or um, off but then Mono Black Knights. If you check out that deck, I talk at the end of the, the Mono Black Knight deck of how to make that deck. How to turn that deck into a budget deck. I know my responsibility. No, I am not making And with the mono no. black knights, all of I'm not gonna shock a nine. You're welcome. And with with that one, like the the rares that I talk about that you you know you probably want to craft that are not you know like just the other rares that you want to craft, like those are good black rares to have in a lot of decks, you know, Knight of the Ebon Legion, Legion's End. Midnight Reaper, those cards are in lots of different decks. So there we go. So like that's that's like the uh, great part about Deafening Clarion and best of one. Clarion is probably is one of the best sweepers. You know, three three mana kills everything you wanted to early on. It's a very powerful sweeper. Our mana's worked out just fine, though. And by just fine, I mean it's worked out very well, honestly. Alright, now this time we're going to be aggressive. Alright, so Golgari Adventures. This is a pretty strong deck. It'll be interesting to see how our deck fares against it. It's 
It's hard to kill a Lovestruck Beast with red spells. Uh, of course, they have to have Lovestruck Beast. Okay, there we go. So I can attack. They just take it, take one, and then they attack me back for two. It's probably not worth dealing one to them to take two. So we'll just kind of both take zero. Of course, we're hoping to draw land. Yay. Hmm. I don't really like showing them what I'm going to be playing. The next turn. Well, I'm, I'm glad they let me make my decision first. Or, you know, like, or do that first before I make my decision. Because now I know... Like, they should they should let me resolve Fae of Wishes first. Because I was actually going to go get Tamiyo, I think. But now I know I cannot cast Tamiyo whatsoever. I could grab another Fires... I kind of want to get this card right here. I think I'm going to get this card right here. Now I know I have, like, you know, I just need to draw one land for that. I would have definitely, yeah, I would not have grabbed that before. But now I know we have five mana. We only need to draw one more. Yeah, and Chandra's a good win con. Okay. Worked out pretty well. Now they got the Murderous Rider test. Hopefully they do not pass the Murderous Rider test. Oh, looks like they do not pass the Murderous Rider test. Get rid of the 5-5. Five five. Scry. Sure. Is it just me? Or is it getting a little warm in here? Fervent champion, a great blocker. <laughs> you don't usually think your 1-1 one one is holding down the fort against multiple creatures over you know four or five turns, but that's what's that's what's happened here. <laughs> Wow, Bay of Wishes was perfect. Because, yeah, you know, first strike. Like, you can't attack into that. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. More emblems. I am not going to sit here. They want to spend four mana again next turn playing Rankle. Go ahead. Be my guest. I 
We're gonna hold up either like Fae of Wishes return or you know Unbreakable Formation. Gonna hold that up. This is just creatures, right? Yeah. Don't know what's next for me. All right. Well, they finally killed Chandra, but bad news for them. Try this. Bad news for them, I got three emblems. All right, so we're gonna instant speed Clarion. Like they play Rankle, try to attack. Rude. I wish Fervent Champion could block that and we could like, you know, do the one damage questing beast first strike and then Clarion. That would be pretty awesome. Yeah, so we'll just coil the Questing Beast. And then maybe I'll just wait on Clarion and just let Teferi die. That lets them gain two life here. Nah, we'll just cast this also. Because we're just going to cast the Fae of Wishes plus something. Anyway. Yeah, we could grab fires. We'll do that. Then I, I can, I can like castle and look for something. I've got time. Yeah, I just can't. I can't cast like captive audience or anything cool like that yet. But we're gonna be able to dig for more another Fae of wishes. But all right, 3-0. That was a good, strong deck. Defeated it there. Are Jeskai really a fires? Your Putting together some wins here. Significant to me. So our next win means we break even with gold. And then we can start winning some more gold. And after that. It's a wasted lava coil. How, like, we still need the lava coil to kill the questing beast. You know, like the Clarion didn't kill the Questing Beast. So, yeah, we, hit, we had to coil there. Down, 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 down. Keep. I, I don't have the mana to go turn one, champion, turn two, vindicator. Right now. If I play Fervent Champion, then we attack for one. So deal one damage on turn one, two damage on turn, turn two, we'll have two damage. By turn three, we'll have three damage with it. If we wait, we have nothing on one, nothing on two. If we play Vindicator on turn two, and then turn three, we play Champion Attack. That's still three damage. So it's three damage either way. This way gives us more 
more potential if we just draw an untapped white source here. We did not draw an untapped white swords. What's up, 619? There it was. What do I have as far as anti-field of the dead in my sideboard? That was a good draw. Sorry, finishing the Simic deck upload to YouTube. There we go, finish that. Okay, so sideboard, we got, we do have Unmoored Ego. We have Ashiok, no Ashiok. So I can I can't cast instance. So I'm gonna just get this unbreakable formation down here because I want to have a little bit more information about what they're doing. I couldn't use I couldn't play an instant there. Anyway, we just got a a new sub. Oh, be be neat, be neat. Thanks so much there, six one nine. Okay, so. Ego Golos. Ego Fay of Wishes. So they got Kenrith. There's no Golos in this deck. There's not a single Golos in this deck. Two Liliana, a Kenrith. Plain White Celebration is awesome. There's not a single Golos in that deck. Are they like preparing for Golos to be to be banned. All right, so took all those down. No, yeah, you can't. 
Uh, Fae of Wishes only grabs non-creatures. They couldn't have Golas in the sideboard. That doesn't work. I think it's either Chandra or... Like, Tamiya's not bad. I don't have seven mana for Captive Audience. I have six. So I think, I'm thinking like Garrick. Garrick, Tamiya. Or Chandra. I think I want to take one of those three. Chandra, Tamiya, or Garrick. I think Liliana's a little weaker than those other cards. Maybe it's not. I was thinking Garrick making two two twos a turn, but I guess drawing the extra cards is nice with Fires of Invention. Yeah, that's kind of the plan, is to now have Tamio buy back Ego, Ego, Field of the Dead. Um, they're left with, like, they have, like, two Liliana, a couple Krasis. They have that card. Could he go crisis? Dueling you will be excellent research. The storied past. Yeah, it feels like Ego Crisis is a good call. So they have just like their their Field of the Deads, two Liliana, and they have four total Beanstalk Giants and one Kenrith. Yeah, get, get rid of Krasis, because they were going to just draw, you know, tons and tons of cards with Krasis there. Fortunately, we can't save Tamiyo. Or can we? Yep, exactly. If I would have just said Field of the Dead, then they just get to refill their hand. <clears throat> so two really good ego names. Got rid of all, you know, their four Fae of Wishes, which is pretty clutch. And also getting rid of the four Hydro Crisis. Looks like they dealt damage to the Fae of Wishes instead of damage to the 1-1. One, one. Oh, they had a second Plain White Celebration? I missed that. I thought they only had one. Hmm. Um. So yeah, we'll just sweep the board. What am I supposed to tick up Tamiyo a name? I guess I'm going to name Aurelia because we got four of those. I want to name a four of... It's the only four of that we haven't seen yet. <laughs> I should have said Royal Zions. No. I 
Thanks, Zexion. No, plain white celebration only returns permanence. You can't return a plain white celebration with a plain white celebration. Anyone who stands in my way is getting sizzled. But these things are elementals, I'll be sad. Okay, yeah, they're citizens. <laughs> There we go, Zexion. Thanks for the sub. Number 15 on the day already. I think you will find my notes helpful. Okay. That's it. GG. No, I wasn't scrying there. I was make I was gonna be making a one one. Just <sighs> making a one one to help block this thing. So I didn't miss the scry. I don't, I don't care what I drew because I was gonna I was likely just gonna be discarding my cards to Fay of Wishes, so I didn't care what I was drawing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, egoing egoing Fae of Wishes removes its nineteen cards. <laughs> um It's kind of the problem with Scry Lands right away is, you know, Lava Coil could be really good against our opponent, or maybe not, we don't know. I'm going to put down to the bottom since we have three lands and we have a couple of four mana cards that we want to play. What's the deal with Aurelia? I mean, the the person that built the deck wanted to play Aurelia, basically. They wanted, The person that built the deck wanted to build a, an, a deck with Aurelia and, and then they wanted to play all the other stuff. And So yeah, we have Aurelia and... You know all the other stuff. So, you know, like we have, we can go, we can be aggressive, we can be controlling. Yeah, deck's doing okay. <laughs> so it's seems like it's doing okay. Um, they're certainly countering fires of invention. A Vorthos role-playing deck day? Okay. What what would that be like? Do you have what I'm intrigued by the idea, but what what would that be like? No, we don't have any Robber of the Rich in here. So while I'd like to play Fires of Invention, I think I need to play around Quench. OK. 
Granted, kind of second main didn't let them. You know, didn't like if I just like start with Prison Realm, they they could just like frilled mystic it. And you know, grow that thing to, to be a a, a four three, and then I'm in a really tough spot. That's unfortunate. That that means they still have Sinister Sabotage available. That hurts. I was, you know, hoping that they were gonna just like play like a a night pack ambusher here. You know, like that's that's what I was hoping. Like with the attacks, that they would just play an ambusher. That would have been ideal. Hmm. I think I am going to lead with fires. Because if I like, you know, if I if I lead with like all my other cards and try to resolve fires last, I mean, fires doesn't do anything unless we have other cards in hand. So I think we might as well just play it first. Yeah, they had quench. Later on, quench the last turn. And play around it this turn. So McFlash is a good deck. You know, when they draw like their four lands and just have all interaction, they're a good deck. Yeah, I have, um, I'm, oh yeah, I was going to play, yeah, I think I'm going to play Grixis Midrange again tomorrow, um, if you haven't seen that deck yet. I can look for it on the YouTube channel. But yeah, we had a, a Grixis Midrange that we played like a week or two ago that, I'm planning on replaying tomorrow. There it is. Found it. All right, three and one. Or four and one, sorry, four and one. No shame in into losing a Simic Flash. Jund Arcanist deck, I added Rhythm of the Wild and took out Vicious Rumors. Okay. Yeah, that's... Alright, that's awesome. Yeah, giving... That is true. Giving um, Arcanist haste is really powerful. So, yeah, glad... Glad to hear that's working out for you, Brett. Let's 
Salty Hercules. Yo, let's go. Thank you so much there, Sir Salty Hercules. I appreciate that. Getting that sub in here. Sub number 16 on the day. Thank you so much. So, let's see. Let's attack. Okay, I honestly wasn't really expecting a block there, to be honest. <clears throat> of course, Fable Passage comes into play tapped. I, I don't have a third land to play these other cards right now. I think my opponent's just holding Murderous Rider over there, wanting me to, you know, play something good for them to Murderous Rider. <laughs> they are not very patient. Yeah, cast Murderous Rider on the one-on-one token. I was kind of keeping the Fervent Champion in hand to be able to, to loot away with the Royal Scions. I think it's either Six Mana Chandra, Fires of Invention, or Time Wipe. Those are the three realistic options. Well, of course, is if my opponent has more Questing Beasts. Definitely a problem if they have more questing beasts. Aurelia does not block questing beast. That's a good sign. It's not questing beast. Let's plan on just playing the Fervent Champion to block, but we'll get rid of that thing. So that will just, um, you know, bouncing the Love Struck Beast, you know, it does make, let them make another 1-1. One, one, but I need to slow them down. We will meet again. Hmm. Well, I wish I didn't. I wish I didn't use my lava coil. I wish I would have just played the fervent champion.
Umbrio, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. So much support today. Y'all are amazing. Thank you so much. Mm, a quest of mystery. None of our stuff blocked questing beast. All right, so that's number 17 on the day over there. And we are four and two. All right, our backs are against the wall. Oh, you're welcome, Embryo, you're welcome. Okay. Four and two. We're playing until we win seven or lose three, so now we got to win three in a row here. With this best of one league. Hmm. I mean, Temple's a scry land. Bad hatred. Joining the channel here. Thank you so much, Samantha. The gifted sub there. Um, yeah, I would I would like a Kaya's Wrath in the sideboard. I think that's a, a good sideboard card to have. Um Clarion can be really strong here in best of one. Darn, I was hoping they were going to be aggro. All right, going to keep Fervent Champion because that, that means it's possible for us to play Embercleave, basically. Looks like we're going to have to be aggressive. Simic Flash, we got taken down by Simic Flash earlier. These Fervent Champions just have not been good overall. Please don't have Ambusher. Please don't have Ambusher. Okay, good. No Ambusher. That's good. Unfortunately, this means the Wildborn Preserver doesn't die to Clarion either. This isn't a fight you can win. I 
I've done the hero thing before. It's really unfortunate that that Clarion doesn't kill the Wildborn Preserver. That's just kind of what we have to do here, though. You just let me know if you're up for round two. I should have just bounced the Wildborn Preserver. I don't know. No, probably had to. Yes, I'm dead if they have another creature to play and pump Preserver. Good, no other creature. But that's just my best block otherwise. We would get the Ambusher out of here. Okay. I don't know, maybe they're just sitting with two lands in hand. What? They had the creature? They didn't just kill me? Could have just done that when you were attacking and I was tapped out. So, you know, if they, I, the reason why I wouldn't Ember Cleave over Royal Sons is because if they didn't have the creature, um, you know, really it was going to be six power there. And many trainings. Let us plan for the trials ahead. Darn. Scry. We need that tight taker. GG's. So we went four and three. Oh, are you okay? Oh, I think so. The yeah, Simic Flash. Very good at deck. And if you're not playing cheap interaction, you're you're not beating them. Like that's just kind of how it is. All right. So with our deck. Uh, a couple of things about it. I think the, yeah, you know, like it showed like how powerful like some of this like some of these cards were. You know, like Fave Wishes, Fires of Invention were just awesome. Um, I think the the four fervent champion, like I know like like, like the deck has like like an aggressive part for it, but the fervent champions just are not. They're just not strong enough really, and the Ember Cleave just. The Ember Cleave is is the the single worst card in the deck by a mile. The Ember Cleave just really should not be in this deck whatsoever. So like, I'd like to get Ember Cleave out of here. I don't like the Fervent Champions very much at all. Um, 
but honestly, like, I, I feel like it kind of should just turn into, you know, like, Jeskai fires and stuff. But, like, but like Fervent Champion, basically, I want to, like, even if you want, like, an aggressive creature here, I probably want, like, a two-mana creature. I, I want something that has, like, two power, at least. Like, I think I think having a creature that has two power, they can at least trade uh, easier with opponent's creatures. Uh, one power is just too little, basically. Um, like, I wouldn't mind this being, like, like maybe Hero of Precinct 1. You know, we got a lot of gold cards here, especially, you know, like, if you Fae of Wishes, you get some more gold cards. Maybe Hero of Precinct 1 instead of Fervent Champion, for an example there. Um, or just even, like, more, like, Tithe Takers. I need, I need something that does 2 damage, at least, here. And then, yeah, Embercleave just needs to go. That can be anything. Like, a third Fires of Invention would be a lot better. Um, or, you know, like, another Chandra. Another one of either Chandra. Um, another Teferi. Um, you know, something else there. Um, yeah, Robber the Rich. Yeah, Robber the Rich would be good there. Um, of course, that's a mythic. But, yeah, that, that would be good. Something with two power. Um... And then as far as, so that's that's kind of the thing about the main deck is the Fervent Champions, the Ember Cleave. We need to have more high, better high impact cards than those. Um, the Prison Realms looked really good. Clarion was awesome. Prison Realm was good. I liked I liked those cards quite a bit. Um, besides that, uh, sideboard wise, um, we need, I want a little bit more at, at four mana. Like, you know, like when you have four and you have like a fires Fey, and then you have like a four drop to get. Like I wouldn't like I would like another like four mana Chandra in the sideboard, for example. Something like that. Um Akaya's Wrath could be nice also as a, a four mana wrath that we talked about. Um I don't like Chance for Glory at all. I don't really like Unbreakable Formation, because we can't, you know, we can't cast instance. So I wouldn't I wouldn't have unbreakable formation or chance for glory. Um I guess Narset was kind of that that four mana card that I was talking about. Um I don't really like emergency powers. You only need two cards. Yeah, you, know, you only need to be playing two cards a turn. Maybe four mana Jace. Instead of a Chandra in the sideboard, maybe a four mana Jace, because that's a four mana card with fires of invention that allows you to draw a card each turn. Maybe that. The captive audience is cute, but um, a plain white celebration could be really nice. Be able to get cards back and everything. And proliferate and everything like that. Charming Prince. Yeah, Charming Prince is perfect. Yeah, that's a good that's a good two drop. That's a good one. Charming Prince is awesome. Yeah, that's a good one. You know, that Scry 2 is really nice. You can gain life against the aggro decks. Yeah, that's that's a great two drop. That would be better than Fervent Champion here. Um, so. So there we go. So those are some some different options there for the deck for Jeskai there. Um, but yeah, Oko. Um, yeah, if you want to move move away from uh, I guess Oko would call you'd have to, you'd be teamer, yeah. So if you want to move away from white and move towards um, green, you could play Oko with you know with fires of invention and, and everything like that too. Um, but that's yeah, that's it here for for Jessica. Really fires the yeah the vindicators were okay. They weren't uh, like I think charming prince would be better kind of thing. Like they you know those basically like a, a two one you know kind of thing. I, I think. Those other cards we talked about, um, Hero of Precinct 1, uh, Charming Prince, Robber the Rich, that kind of stuff would be better than Swift Blade Vindicator. Even more Tithe Takers. I think those would be more impactful also. But, you know, it's just a two-drop creature. Um, so there we go. All right. So if, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And feel free to leave some comments about the deck. Um, you know, like what, uh, what do you like, what you don't like, all that kind of stuff. Um, and if you, you know, if you're trying it out yourself, let me know how it's going. Um, yeah, I like the Kaya's Wrath in the sideboard for sure. And also again, um, if you're watching on YouTube, 
uh, hope you hope you check out the Patreon page. There's a link in the description now for Patreon. Just started that today. I'll continue to add to that where I'm going to be posting uh, written content or um, as well as uh, cyborg guides and stuff over there. So if you all like the, the channel, hopefully you support over there in Patreon. Just three bucks a month for that. All right, that's it here for Jeskai Aurelia Fires. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.